Hey guys, Dawn here from Drago Art, and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a butterfly in pencil. I would suggest getting a pencil kit that has varied graphite softnesses to add variety to the, the shading for the butterfly. If you don't have that, a basic 2H pencil and eraser would do fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the basic guidelines of the butterfly. I'm going to start with the horizontal and the vertical line, and this is going to help me proportion the body and the wings. I'm going to start drawing the head and the body first because you don't want to draw the wings first otherwise you'll come across problems with proportioning the body and the other half of the wing. Take your time and draw lightly on the paper because if you don't draw lightly on the paper you'll leave deep indent marks and it'll show up when you start shading with darker darker shadows. So I'm going to start drawing the first wing, and this is the upper wing. I want to add a curved middle with ridges. I want to end that right in the middle of the body. I want to start drawing the lower wing, and this is going to have a few curvy shapes that's going to add variety to the overall butterfly. Now we'll start drawing the pattern. When you draw the pattern of the inside of the wings, you should try to keep them similar to one another so they don't look random and mismatched. And when you draw the sections of the inside of the wing, the section closest to the edges should be smaller than the ones in the middle, the ones that fan out. Again, I'm taking my time, making sure that everything looks proportioned before I start on the lower wing. And I'm going to be using the same pattern traits as the upper wing so they look unified. Now that I got both the wings done, I'm going to start drawing the right side of the wing. And I'm using a pen to measure where the edge of the left wing aligns so we can draw the right wing in the same proportion as the left. So now I'm going to erase the initial sketch I started with and I'm doing this so I have a clearer view and a neater line structure when I redraw the lines with a darker graphite softness and outlining with a 6B pencil. Once my outlines are finished, I'm going to go ahead and shade the darkest parts of the wing. I'm using hatching strokes. When you shade, 
shade from the darkest shadows to the lightest highlights. to start shading the outer edges of the butterfly with long hatches to add dimension and value. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be making more in the future just like these. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.